Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to reference another workbook in Excel. Excel offers many options to link other data sources to an Excel worksheet. These could, this could be a workbook, it could be another worksheet within the same file, or an external data source such as a database or even another website. If you need to get values that are stored in another workbook into your worksheet, it may be a good idea to create a reference to the workbook instead of copying and pasting the values into the worksheet. In this way, whenever the values in the workbook are updated, they will be automatically updated in your sheet as well. So let's see how to do that. In this example, I have a table which has the product and price, and I need to draw the cost from another workbook. So to do that, I select the cell and type an equal sign, then go to the other workbook that has the costs and select the cost I want and press enter. Now you can see that if you look in the formula bar, you can see that the name of the file is given and the cell reference. And it has been made constant by the addition of dollar signs. Now because I want to copy this formula down, I'm going to remove the dollar signs so that I can copy the formula. That being done, I select the cell and using the fill handle, drag the formula down to the rest of the cells. And now I have created this reference. So if at any time the values in the costs worksheet or the costs workbook change, I can update the data in this worksheet as well. This is how to reference another workbook in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.